Hi guys, I'm making this video because I want to show you a cool trick when it comes to head topology. Um, so up until now you're probably used to quadring all the facial loops, um, which is really required because it has to have like custom animations and deformations, things like that. But when it comes to um, the head and the neck, we're not so worried about drawing those individually. There's a couple of shortcuts we can use. Um, so this, this requires that you know how to use GPU caching. So taking something that's really high high fidelity in ZBrush, bring it into Maya, turn it to a GPU gash, uh, cache, and then we can use that as a guide. So I've got a character here that's um, been GPU cached. Uh, normal normal circumstances, I'd come in, use the quad draw, and maybe outline some sort of tactic of where I'm going to have edge flows. Um, when it does come to the cranium, what we can do is what I like to use is a primitive, so a polygon cube. If I click that and find it and just scale it up, um, to a similar size to the head. Next thing I'm going to do is use something called smooth. So that's in the polygon smooths area. Click that. It brings up uh, a couple of divisions. I'll probably set this to two, depending on the resolution of the game. Um, next thing I want to do is very roughly match it to the size of the head. Um, you can probably see what's coming next. I'm going to wrap this geometry back onto the head and then connect it later to maybe some face components that we've done earlier. I'm going to uh, come to faces and then just delete sort of the partial face area um, and then maybe some on the back of the head where it's not so important. So deleting those. Next, I'm going to select the head guide and then just make it the active live surface. Once we've clicked that, I'm going to go to our cranium topology. Um, at this point, I probably want to activate symmetry depending on um, if the character is asymmetrical or, or symmetrical. I'm going to come into quad draw, so it's our usual topology tool, I guess you could say. Um, now we could start to move individual verts, and it's going to snap to the character. Um, a better way to think about this is using soft selection. So when you press B, um, soft selection options toggled. But uh, as you hold B and drag from left to right, you can increase or decrease the radius or the fall off um, of that tool. So using this, um, when we move one for everything that's been affected is also going to snap to the guide. So it's a really quick way of sort of um, wrapping a mesh back onto your character. At this point, uh, I'd use that tool in combination. So reducing the fall off just to drag the topology in uh, your desired direction. So just think about topology flow but um, straight off the bat we've got some nice um, topology flow that's gonna adhere to the silhouette of our character on the top of the cranium um, then at the later date once you do have your face and your facial topology we'd connect these together and then start to bridge the components um, one thing to bear in mind is uh, counting the quads and predicting how many quads you've got and the edges that you're going to be connecting via the bridge so potentially, if we've got a lot of facial loops, we might want to consider uh, putting additional loops up here. The reason this um, this sort of like workflow is really nice is it's, it's quite easy to put in loops. So we've got loops that go all the way to the back of the head, and we've also got loops that come across vertically. So when it comes to the face, there's probably going to be a couple uh, a couple of loops. Problem with this bit, um, we've got some quite long quads. When it comes to nice cylindrical surfaces, we want nice even quads. So we might want to put uh, some additional loops here or maybe just hold shift and relax the entire thing together because you have the soft selected available. It's going to um, it's going to smooth larger parts and sections of the mesh. So right now you can see you've got some pretty quick, um, nice topology that's even. And then we can be more concerned about drawing topology when it comes to things like the eye loops and then connect them over later. Um, so that's a quick tip of really quickly getting individual pieces completed. Um, you could probably imagine you could use it for other elements. So using a polygon cylinder, we could connect it onto the neck and then just wrap mesh onto there. Um, same true uh, with the limbs and stuff like that. So that's the first tip.